All right. Sportsy, you came back. Thank God. At least I have one part of Dave to go back to. I was wondering to leave, and it's fantastic to see you again. I always come back, you dickhead. Even if I have to deal with some of the lesser, some of the lesser parts of you. Likewise, Dave. So it's been a month. Do you recall what I asked you to do for me? Oh, don't worry, Sportsy. I didn't forget. I found us a real good lead. A spectral lead, if you will. Oh? Yeah, I ended up remembering something quite interesting. You remember that horrifying fucking puppet that Freddy Fazbender's kept in that damn music box, right? <laughs> How could I forget that stupid freaking bitch? I mean, yeah, of course I do. Why? Well, damn puppet used to visit him a lot. Searching for lost or damned souls in his place's abandoned walls. It came from another, deeper part of the flip side. Wait, there's more of this place? Damn it. You didn't think that this was it, did you? This place only covers like three old Freddy's locations. The flip side. Much like the surface of the earth, where an onion is layered, the deeper you go. Well, I tend to stay as close to reality as I can for a reason. It's been so long since I've seen that puppet, what ventured beyond this part of the flip side. I see. Is there a way we could get there? Shine. Just step sure. into the portal. Um, what portal? Exactly, I was just about to ask that. Oh, of course, the missing texture. One, of course, old sport. Okay. I hate this fucking place so goddamn much. If you want to find that puppet-faced bastard, <laughs> this is the only way. The only way, old sport. Alright then. Let's do this. Ladies first, sports. Eat my ass. Okay. Yep, new place. Great. We've arrived. Feast your eyes, sportsy. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Best picture ever, right there. So this is layer two, eh? It's... Very familiar. I've worked at a ton of locations that look just like this one. Yeah, yeah, don't say. Sportsy. This realm represents any Freddy's locations that were built in the late 80s, I believe. So, plastic robots could be lurking around anywhere. And you know as well as I do that just one's bite. Yeah. Come on, let's get going. Right behind you, old sport. Oh, wait, I'm gonna save. Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares! Nobody cares, 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 Just trying to tell you that no one gives a crap. It's true. And if you keep on talking, well then I will just ignore you. Oh my God, you are still. Freaking doggos, man.
Well, and Fred here we are. Sportsy. Uh, see, I told you, freaking prize box thing. The prize corner. Look at that counter in all of its horrifying hauntedness. Okay, then. Hauntedness. Doesn't look all that haunted to me, Dave. Give it a second. Oh, great. Maybe something will pop into existence if we sit in silence for three or so seconds. One, two, oh, okay. Well, there we have it, old sport. Something. You crying little bitch, what do you want from me? <laughs> Jack? Is that, is that really you? No, I'm shit stained. Yeah, it's. Uh, I go by shit. Okay, so my name is actually Jack, but I, I changed my name to Shitstain. Shitstain. It's been so long. D. What are you still doing here? I thought you would have passed by now. Well, if I had a pass, who would have stayed behind to mop up the rest of the lost souls of the moon here? There many really remain here aside from spectral robots. This place has been deathly empty. I understand. It's good to see you again. Wait, hold on a second. Sportsy, why are you calling that thing D? Isn't that a human name? But girls, why are not for you calling it that? Dave, this is D. She's. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Oh, great. Here we go again. Is that Dave Miller, the kitty strangler? In the flesh. Or whatever the scaly high cover in my body is made out of. Jack. Here we go. Here we go. Bring, come on. Is this how you get your sick kicks nowadays? He's my friendy. He's here to help. Dave Miller, here to help. Oh my god, you haven't changed at all. We're the... We're the, uh... Vigilant victims that you two took not enough. I'm not an idiot, Jack. Every time you two become friends, a trail of bodies appears behind both of you. Oh my god, I can't let this happen. D, relax. I've learned my lesson in junk. I was hoping that you had come back to find me, Jack. Now, I sure hope that you have it. You're going to fill this place up with soul after soul. The new child left alive is going to be able to sleep. And the orange and purple boogie men looking outside their bedroom window. I'm going to do what I should have done 50 years ago. D? I don't want to hurt you, but if you get physical. We'll have to defend ourselves. Screw that, I'm gonna kick the shit out of this baby bitch. Well then. On guard, Jack. Oh, oh, come on, let's have it. Come on, bring it on, beat you baby bastard. Alright, Dave. Defend yourself, but don't say we hurt her, okay? I'm aiming for this thing, so I'm fucking new to this. <laughs> okay, then. I didn't know she had noodle lips, but okay. Nobody cares! Nobody cares! D? Just calm down, we don't want to hurt you. I know you feel too well. The moment I let my car down, it'll tear my limbs off. I throw my head and torso into a trash bag. I mean, I wasn't thinking of that, but thanks for the idea. No. I'm ending this right now. I'm going to fill that plastic fucking mask of you with how cheese for my nachos. <laughs> can you, can you, are you a sh are you a man who, who shares Dave? Because I would love some nachos right about now. Nobody cares. 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 You know that you can't keep this up forever, D. I'm going to tear your insides out, you pathetic orange piece of berry refuse. Hey, don't talk about my orange baby that way. <laughs> hey, do not call me an orange baby ever again, Dave. Nobody cares! Nobody cares!
nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares. Fuck. I'll give it to you. Pop it face. You sure don't go down easy. It's just like a death, like a, like a, you, you lost the scene, or is this supposed to happen? I didn't go down easy the first time I did. Wait, should I have known that? Yes, I was one of the first victims that you and Henry abducted. Number three. Number number three, okay. Wait, hang on a second. You're the girl. The one Henry took away from. Oh, so you do remember. Oh, I can remember quite a bit too, William. Do you remember what that sadistic fuck did to me, William? To call my death queen would be to call Fredbear Big Bone. I... I was never okay with what Henry did, I swear. I tried to talk him out of it. I'm not different to any of the children that you murdered of your own violation, William. You're evil. No two ways about it. And now, you're corrupted by... You, you've corrupted my own flesh and blood. What? What do you... Sportsy. How did you know what that thing's name was? Dave? She was my sister. Oh, oh snap. Oh, no, I... I had no... Oh, so now you feel the remorse. Now that you know who I am. What? I... I was only one of many casualties. The other kids all had families too, Dave. What? Henry told me. Stuff it out so many childhoods, Dave. Surely you knew what you were doing. You were taking away from your victims. I was doing you a favor. A favor? You took away every future birthday that I could have had. Every Christmas morning, every walk in the park with my family. I never got to grow up, get married, have children of my own. Yeah, because if you did, they'd probably look like little baby bitches like yourself. The future died because of you. I don't remember your own childhood. Didn't you have any idea what you were taking away from us? I do remember my own childhood, if you could call it that. Oh, I get it. How pit of pit tight pit of, well, I don't even know. Joe has a tragic past, so I, a victim of his shitty actions, have to feel bad for it. Well, no. I'm sorry. That don't cut it, William. You weren't the only one here with a far from... Far from... I. D d whatever that is, childhood Jack, me, and our brother Peter were orphans. I'm sorry to hear that. I... I take it Jack is Sportsy's true name, then... Yes, it is. Yeah, but honestly, shit stain is fine, too. <laughs> I heard it's died in a car crash. I'll have you know, even Jack and Peter working full-time to support me. Hey, don't worry, sis. Don't ever call me. I know how you feel. I never had any parents either. Wait, you must have had somebody if you've had survived to adulthood. Well, from a young age, I was cast out of an orphanage. Time so nobody really wants to adopt an obviously kid. Yeah, because you're purple. You're like a freaking alien. And person, I wouldn't want to adopt you either, you sadistic purple fuck. New York City in the 1950s. Good luck if you were homeless. You'd be lucky to get a nickel most days. That is true. Nowadays, no, you can't even trust a homeless guy. People find goodwill and charity tedious after so long of hearing about the needy children. So, I learned how to play the trombone. I formed the bread, drank rainwater, slept wherever it wasn't what. I survived, didn't I? I don't understand. He lives to such hardship, and yet... Where did you go? Get out of here, Steam! What happened next? Well, I ran away from home. When Trog traveled for a while through upstate New York, drank rainwater in Utica, Steam dams in Albany. I don't think we know what we need to know, but get out of here! I don't think we need to know about all this stuff, Dave. Then, near the border. I saw something different. Something wondrous. What was it? Dr. Miller's fantastical circus. Dr. Miller? Didn't she say you were Dave Miller? So what, you find your real father or something? Where fantasy is made real, and life has meaning. 
a local traveling circus, stopping by on its way to Vegas. I snuck in, not having a ticket, and my god. Quite the place, let me tell ya. Hot dogs, clowns, plants, excitement. And in the center of it all, stood the ringmaster. A stout fella, pink complexion, in a pink striped outfit, with his signature hat and bow tie. He was not the Henry Miller. Henry Miller, okay. So this is Henry, the guy who apparently turned into a psychedelic asshole like Dave. I was standing in his circus. He thanked everyone for coming down, and welcomed us to his show. Promised to show us earth shattering illusions. He guaranteed to prove that the impossible was possible, or your money back. Granted, I snuck in, but I was intrigued by the claim nonetheless. And boy, did he make the impossible possible. Cannons fired on instinct, as if they were sentient. Trapeze on his levitated from bar to bar. Well, that's interesting. Every damn act shattered at least one thing that I thought I knew about reality. The circus itself traveled west, and then south, hitting several stops in the Midwest. I followed the circus around, getting a good view of the show most nights, and every single show was incredible. Henry even had a clown persona that he'd done occasionally, got on really well with kids. I would have killed him if he turned into a clown. That guy knew how to act. Oh my god. Henry had a circus? And he was Dave? What happened to the circus? Well, it never quite reached Vegas. Unfortunately, people tended to turn up missing in town as the circus reached. Bad luck, I guess. The police called it off and arrested the lion tamer since the disappearances were investigated as murders. I heard that guy got put to death. Search from right. Ruin Henry's circus, filthy drunk. <laughs> Dave, don't take this the wrong way, but I doubt the line table was the culprit. Oh, trust me. Henry testified in court. Saw him do it. Henry was a good man and a big dreamer. Even after that, he never quite let go of his dream of bringing fantasy to life. He decided to put his doctorate in robotics to use, and started up his own restaurant. Still recording? Yeah. Fred Bear's Family Diner. Okay, so this is the start of Fred Bear's Diner. All he needed was a hand, to help perform on stage, manage customers, invest a little money into his dream. I was a young man at this point, and had saved a little bit of money up, so I could change my life. I just knew it. Henry's dream would change my life forever. I gave him all of the money I had, and told him that I'd always be at a little hand. He cared about me, D. Gave me my own character, let me help him write jokes for his shows. He gave me meaning. He was the first person that taught me how to dream. Dave. What? It's okay. I know Henry did bad things. He meant well, and wanted to be a good person. Me and Sportsy want to right Henry's wrongs, and fix everything. We can still have a happy ending. Jack, is that true? Yes, D. Aside from the blatant Henry praise, I mean. Dave means well. This isn't the same Dave that we knew on Earth. The flip side's a dangerous place, sis. Dave knows this place well and can hold his own in a fight. He's useful. See, I'm useful. Jack, do you really want to help save everyone that you can? Yes. How many times do I have to tell you? I do. Well then, perhaps you should return to Earth to whatever you need to do. Dave and I can strategize here. I know there's another lost soul nearby that we could help. I just need to figure out how to reach them. That sounds good, sis. Oh, and before I go, 
How about you fix my- How about you pay for my medical bills that I'm gonna have to go through when I reach back on Earth for your stupid rib cracking and stupidity for not listening to me? Oh, okay. Dave, I have something to tell you. What is it, old sport? I... I found you. Or you found me, I guess. What do you mean, sportsy? Your physical body found me again. It's inside of a rotting spring bonnie suit. It goes by Dave Trap now. My god, that's incredibly concerning. But we have nothing to worry about, right? We're going to do a lesson about killing kids. Dave Trap can help us. Dave, that ain't me. That's the part of my soul that can't let go. Couldn't even let go of my own dead body. Sportsy, I'm gonna keep an eye out for what my reality incarnate is up to. Keep your guard up. I will. Good lord. The last thing we need is another soul to free. Keep a close eye on things, Jack. I will. I mean, I have nothing to lose. I literally can't die. Apparently, I have no soul. I'm a ginger after all. Thank you both. Thank you, both of you. I'll be back in a month's time. Goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, sis. Farewell, Jack. It's shit stain. You now we'll see each other again soon. Why, sportsy? Bye. Don't leave me alone with her for more than a month, or she'll start getting ideas. Okay, fine. D, don't do anything stupid. Violent, the prank ideas. Violent from the kitty strangler. That's rich. Oh, please. If I had one foot long noodle limbs. I do something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye, bro. Be back soon. Okay. I think that's the end of day two.